right. Well, well, thank you for coming. I, I do appreciate you coming into the the job for this interview. And I'd like to ask uh, if you can, you can just go ahead and sit right there. It's fine, and uh, we'll get going. That's not a problem. I am great. I am happy to be here. Mmm, that's so freaking good. Oh. What are you eating? What are you eating? Oh, did, oh, did you did you want some? I'm sorry. I, I, I meant to sh I meant to share with you here. Here you go. Um, it, it's just a chocolate chip cookie. It tastes really good. It's all homemade. Special recipe. Mom's cooking, right? A cookie? Oh no, thanks. I don't. I don't. I don't need any uh, <laughs> cookies. Uh, I'm fine. Yeah. I can't believe you brought cookies to a uh, interview, but okay, that's good. That uh, shows that you have balls. Here, you go. oh, you don't, you don't want it. Oh, okay. That's, I guess that's more for me then. Mmm, that's good chocolate chip. That's a good chocolate chip cookie. Ah, uh, it's just you know homemade. <laughs> well, let's go on to, uh, to the next question. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Well, sure thing. I like video games. I like to play them a whole lot. When I'm winning and shooting those bullets, grenade launchers, and throwing even a, uh, I don't know, I'll throw the gun at the guy. And if I can kill him, that's awesome. I have lots of fun. All blood go all, all over the place. It's, it's amazing. It's an amazing game. You should play it sometime. And if I'm not winning, I will yell at the at the um, at the wall. I'll be like, "Why? Why won't you die?" <laughs> One sec, and then, and then I'll just throw the grenade. Not the grenade. Uh, the, the the controller. And I'll just throw the controller out the blooming wall or window. Either one, it's fine with me, as long as it hits the guy and kills him, right? <laughs> Another thing I like to do is, when I go and take a walk at the park, not only do I like to see the flowers and the trees and the grass and the, I don't know, the water lilies, I also like to see hot chicks. So what I do is I'm, you know, I'm just jogging along and I'm like, oh my God, look at her. Damn. I walk her up to her and be like, hey chick. <laughs> How are you? And then they, they just look at me. And I, the next thing out of my mouth is, why are you running away? Is it my face? I guess they don't like the color red, or they don't like the color black with the white eyes. Maybe that throws them off. I don't know. I don't have no idea. Do you all have any ideas? Or do you have any idea? Well, you're my interviewer. Never mind. Screw that. Scratch that question. <laughs> but I do try. You know, I wanted to ask them out. Sometimes I ask them out, and they're like, run off. And I'm like, bye. <laughs> uh, well, but that is nice. So let's get on to the next question. Do you, what, how did you hear about our, this position of ours? Well, <clears throat> how I found you is pretty interesting, actually. It's a pretty good story. I, I was just sitting there, looking through the porn, you know, porn sites. 
it was really good. I was getting all up and everything, and then all of a sudden I was like, I need a better job. If I have time to look at porn, I have time to look for a better job. So what do I do? I go on monster.com and I'm like, I search and I'm like, there's so many jobs. And I'm like, oh my God, there's like so many freaky, it's so, it's so confusing, right? So what I do is I just looked around and then I started typing, what is the world's laziest job that I can do? Your company just came right up. And I was like, click, apply. And I fill out all the application for it. It was like, if it's going to be the easiest job in the world, hell yeah, I'm going to do it. And then I looked at the pay and I was like, okay, cool. You know, nice pay. Could be more, but you know, it's a good pay, I guess, for starting out. I see. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, let's let's get on to the the next interview question. Uh, what type of what type of work environment do you like to work in? Well, let's see here. I gotta think about this one. Give me a moment. I like a very very relaxed atmosphere where I'm just you know just relaxing, looking at people, stuff like that, and I love my, f and I got a friend that says, hey, smoke this green stuff, so I was like, okay, and I smoked the green stuff, is, they call it weed, so if I can smoke weed at work, that'd be great too, because that's very relaxing, and then when you relax, I'm sitting there, and I also like to drink beer, if you have a bridge, you know, a, a good bridge, a good fridge to put beer in. I can throw some more in there for you. That way we all can have some. Also, if you have a, a, a lazy boy chair, that would be fantastic. If you could provide one. That way I could just sit there, smoke, drink, and be like, so this is, uh, where do you want to go again? Yeah. That kind of atmosphere, that would be great if you can supply that. Well, I also like to pee a lot. So if you could get me a desk right next to a bathroom, that would be great. <clears throat> well, this is a call center, so you get one hour breaks, or my bad, you get one hour lunches and two 15 minute breaks. Uh, is that okay with you? You do have to be on the phone a lot and quite often, and you have to be on the phone at least 90% uh, of the time that you're supposed to be there, would that be okay with you? Well, like I said before, I do pee a lot. So getting a uh, desk right next to the bathroom would be great. Uh, okay, well, as long as it's on your breaks, that's fine. We, as for the weed and beer, we do not supply those. We do not accept those on premises. It's against company's policy. As for the chair, we don't supply lazy boy chairs. We only supply office chairs. Would that um, suffice with you? Well, that just sucks. Well, then that's fine, too. I'll just bring my own. Well, well, thank you for coming in, and we'll let you know by email of our decision once we make one. Uh, in the meantime, here, walk with me. We'll go out the front door here and go that route. Cool. Well, thank you. I can't wait to get back home to play Call of Duty. I can't wipe the. I can't wait to wipe the other team's ass off the map. The freaking map.